Well, during Black History Month, the Adler Planetarium is debuting a new immersive film written by two Chicago-based Afrofuturists. Yeah, the movie explores the intersection of black culture and the real science behind the multiverse. And WGN's Mike Lowe reports. At the Adler Planetarium, the dome comes all the way down to the floor. So when you're seated, the visuals come down below your line of sight. Theater director Mike Smale We've got lighting controls. is about to debut the Adler's first original film since 2019 in the immersive Granger Sky Theater. So we're looking out into space and it feels like we're on the bridge of the Starship Enterprise here. This is where we control the ship. Here we have control, we have a, a preview of the, the larger image that's visible on the immersive dome screen over everybody's head. If we can leave the Earth, we can fly to Mars, we can you know, view those volcanoes on, on Mars up close, we can leave our solar system. Our galaxy is the Milky Way. The new animated film is called Naya and the Multiverse. My name is Naya. I live in a city called Chicago on a planet called Earth. It follows a Chicago preteen on a journey through her memories and imagination and through time and space. Here she is, Naya, this young girl, thinking about things her mother told her, things that her grandparents told her about the crossroads and the blues or different African artwork that was in the home that spoke to all this interdimensionality. And, and she's curious about that, but she also is just a kid who wants to be a scientist. Debuting in Black History Month, the 30-minute show features an original script by Chicago-based writers Taylor Witten and Yatasha Womack, an Afrofuturist from Chatham. Can you tell us what an Afrofuturist is? Sure, it's just a way of looking at the future and alternate realities and you're referencing black culture. The genre imagines the intersection of science fiction and black culture. My grandfather says there's a relationship between the seen and the unseen world. We may not be able to see the ancestors or spirit guides, but we can always connect with them at the crossroads. Here it's on display on a screen that gives the viewer the feeling of participation, like virtual reality. It's almost like walking in a dream, stepping into your own imagination. In the film, Naya meets her future self, an astrophysicist, as she explores the scientific theories behind the multiverse. Well, the multiverse is an assemblage of different theories about the fact that we don't just have one universe. What really is the science behind this term multiverse that people talk about? Geza Juk is the senior director of astronomy at the Adler Planetarium. He consulted on the scientific accuracy of the film and says the ideas explored are rooted in quantum physics. That when something can happen in multiple ways, it really does happen in all those different ways simultaneously. And so in that sense, it's really firm. There, there is a multiverse. The film introduces other complex concepts like shadow matter and bubble universes. We sort of explore this concept of these sort of pinchable, segmentable uh, universe pieces. The theory that some parts of space expanded faster than others, creating distinct bubbles of space and time. These theories are so deep and there are so many different takes and, and versions and, and variants on them, it's, it's incredibly complicated. And the challenge was just to bring it to life in a colorful tale. What inspiration do you hope that children who see this movie will take away? I hope that they'll come to value the imagination. Our real goal is to inspire and to make people sort of see the awe and wonder. If they don't get every single last detail, that's okay with us. As long as they're, they come out, come out of the theater thinking, wow, that's cool, I want to learn more. At the Adler Planetarium on Chicago's museum campus, Mike Lowe, WGN News. I have right. so much more to learn, uh, You're going to get uh, educated as well as entertained and inspired. <laughs> yeah, I'm so clearly. glad it's Mike Lowe uh, telling no, that story. You yeah. did a good job. Well, the film opens at the Adler on Saturday. It will be shown at various times during the Planetarium's open hours. For information on showtimes and how to get tickets, you can go to WGNTV.com.